Uh, yep, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys or actually demonstrate to you guys a few different ways that you guys can um, achieve uh, different um, jug elements um, in a better or more effective way such as shakes and one frame or some time remaps specifically. Um, I, the reason why I'm making this is that some people like in my um, some people that in my community kind of tend to struggle with jug. So, I kind of want to like show you guys how to do things, but also at the same time, like give you the basic ideas that you guys can use to build upon your to build upon your edits and hopefully find a result that you like. So, um, with that being said, the first thing that I'm going to give you, the first pointer is when you're time mapping, don't don't be don't like be afraid to experiment. All right, don't be don't be afraid to experiment this because. Um, that's the point of it is like you have to experiment in order to get what you want and and what you want what you want and like for example if i want to get a, a result where my results of my jugs are typically um they're made with results that look like things are kind of like naturally flowing in instead of like having impact entirely to them so for example like this this graph i'm using my time remap here right it's not exactly it's, an, an, uh, it's not an average graph it's not an average graph but i like it because it makes it if i play it back both graphs on the time maps are similar um yeah see like they're similar um they look like they have they have some natural movement but it's like a regular slow mo and I really do like my graphs like that because I feel like if I were to do something, for example, if I were to go to this one, um, if I were to make this like a graph like this now, this is again experimentation. This is why you don't don't be afraid to experiment because if you don't experiment, you're going to use the same graphs over and over because you could do this, but I like it. So I like I, I still like it of the way I had before, but I guess I'll leave it somewhere in the middle. This is yeah, so I'll leave it somewhere in the middle. So yeah, it looks like it looks a little better. So that's one thing with time mapping on on um, jug is you always want to be experimental. Again, it looks so primitive the way I'm explaining it, but it's really it's really not that hard. I mean. Sometimes you're gonna come, come across certain things that look like they're hard as all get out and you don't even, or they look intimidating and then you're like, oh my god, what do I do with this scene? How do I incorporate it into my the type of edit I want, you know? But that's why you just gotta keep keep messing around. You keep messing around with scratch and you find something. I mean that's how I, that's how I do it at least. But um yeah, that's how a lot of people do. So. Point number one is you just experiment with your graphs. Um, number two, it kind of same same thing with the shake. Uh, same thing with shakes, right? So I'll use a preset that I have real quickly. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on a shake, but um, essentially, I'll just do the quick shake that I have here. Um, you, again, you don't want some like when you're doing shakes. It's same thing with experimentation with graphs. You just want to find something that you like. I mean. You want to find something that you like, no matter if it's something you've already used before, or if it's, it's something new, entirely new, like an entirely new type of shake that you've never made before. Like, like for real, you can make hard shakes. Like if I turned up the frequency to like 11, and then you made, you did this, and then maybe I, I think I, I don't like having a lot of wine. So if I did something like that, you could do something. You could do like a, a nice stutter shake. You could do like you have a nice twitchy shake more back to low frequency you can have a nice little you have a nice little um about um less less um but cheap but again same um frequency shake you can have a stronger shake um you could like go like this and, um, or you can even like mess around with the graph itself and you could literally just go like this and it would look like awesome it would look like a nice stuttery nice big giant shake sometimes i see people doing this in giant it's kind of funny it's just the way that people like it, you know? So. And you can always mess around with the TGPs, actually, because that shake is good, dude. Um, but yeah, no. So, again, with the shakes, um, you don't really have to be too... You don't have to overthink it. I mean, you really don't have to overthink it with anything. You just... It looks, it looks hard because, like, some shakes work better than others. But 
at the same time, it's just how it is, you know? So, and, um, don't mind me switching up on the but, so, again, it doesn't look too hard. Um, it looks a little too intimidating at first, but it won't, it won't be hard. It won't be hard to find a shaky light. Definitely. But, but that's when the experimentation comes in, and that's when you start to wither. That's when you start to kind of realize that, um, you know, the difficulty kind of dwindles because difficulty kind of dwindles when you're having fun with the experimenting and messing around and finding something that you want. So, um, again, um, point to number two for shakes, just be, just be experimental again, but also, um, if there's a shake you don't like, then just use another one. <laughs> you don't have to, um, like, you don't have to, like, put one shake and then you also... Um, just feel like, oh, I don't want to change the shake. If you don't like the shake, you can feel free to change the shake. It's all good. But um, I guess the third one now, the third, third and final one is, um, I'll have to keep the shake here. So, yeah, we'll keep the shake, yeah. Um, but the final one I wanted to talk about today was actually, it was actually, um, it was um, one framers. So, as you guys know me, I'm a one framer geek. So, I used to, I gold, I gold on our, I indulge in one framers. Um, so I'm the one framer lord. But um, one thing I will mention, another, the last point here of this video is, at least for Jug, is when you're doing a one framer for Jug, it's really, you gotta make it fit. That's the one thing in Jug that was really hard for me, especially to make it, in my eyes, like a better, more, relaxed or or more appropriate um version of what i was going for was the one favorites themselves and i used to actually spam them a lot and it looked really cool but it didn't really satisfy me in the end of the day because a lot of what i was doing was for example let me make a one framer real quick uh so yeah so i'll show you guys what i used to do so i have a bunch of these different framers i can't remember which one it is i'm gonna put framer five but framer number five I'll see what this one has. See, like this, this is one I just spammed out of nowhere. Like this, I would just spam stuff like that. And also, Framer number six, for example, like that, that didn't even work at all, actually. Framer seven, like, so I hope you guys understand that, like, just spamming framers, like, just spamming, yeah, this is a good example. Spamming effects isn't entirely the best way to go because especially with presets that's why at least it's just me you guys can feel free to do whatever you would like i'm not saying that presets are useless but presets can really limit either help you or they can really limit how creative you can be with your own favors and your shakes and anything anything really it's just the idea is you have a preset that you can paste on there but you don't just entirely use, you can always adjust it to your liking. One framers are really hard because um, at times because you want to use a specific one framer and it doesn't actually end up fitting. Like this one, for example, it, it kind of really doesn't fit on the invert section. So maybe if I did this, for example, and then I went like this, um, I could do something for you guys real quick with it. I could like turn the tint down, then I could make like a hot spots, and then put, like hot spots, then I'll put like deep low, something like that. Um, this is like a simple one I used to do back in the day, but back when I was like first starting. But again, this is like I wouldn't really use this anymore. I I don't really use this anymore. Again, this is like the idea where I'm not struggling to struggle because I struggle with one framers. I'm struggling to give you guys the um like kind of the idea so if you ever struggle with one framers just remember that it will take time i mean some people to this day don't really know how one framers provide effect or provide like a like a like a feel to it and just provide some form of interest you know it's a small details that work for your head so again you feel free to experiment always always experiment because it's it'll help you in the long run but um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is probably this is it for the tutorial. Again, it's not like anything 
advance it's i'm trying to make it as beginner friendly as possible but also kind of tying in my own experience with it because i tend to i tend to kind of like lose track of my progress or track of my uh my my cap my abilities with uh, one framers and shakes like i used to have but then like not incorporating them very effectively i mean it just all takes time you know i'm still learning with with all the effects i do it's all good i'm still learning with some of the, the timer maps i do hell it, it looks like sometimes they can be stiffer but it's it's completely completely optional it just depends on what you guys are going for so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys would like to join my discord server it will be in the description below and also if you guys would like to support me even further you can even send me a donation through my ko-fi page or yeah through my ko-fi page um i think donations start at like three dollars so feel free to send me a tip i would greatly greatly appreciate it um but um yeah i hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial uh um, comment down below what you thought. Goodbye.